this week on The Wire. Property investors optimistic, banks extend a credit amnesty and it's cheaper to buy than rent. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in a finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment, share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Let's kick it off with our top story for this week, property investors optimistic. So property investors remain positive about the future, though many are now looking at different locations for investment, as well as moving to a new region to live. And that's according to the 2020 PIPA Annual Investor Sentiment Survey. Now, PIPA Chairman Peter Koulizos says, while there is no doubt that 2020 has been one of the toughest in living memory for everyone around the globe, property investors have remained resilient in the face of unprecedented uncertainty that we are all experiencing. The number of investors who believe now is a good time to invest in residential property property did fall from 80% in 2019 to 67% this year. Now yet 77% say concerns about falling house prices won't deter their investment plans, with 44% looking to purchase a property in the next six to 12 months. Interestingly, about 17% of investors indicated that the pandemic had made them consider moving to another location, especially regional areas. Now, the main reasons for moving were improved lifestyle factors, working from home in the future, and housing affordability. And now for our next story, banks extend credit amnesty. Home loan customers and property investors who have deferred their loan payments for six months or longer will not have their credit ratings affected until at least March 2021, and that's under revised guidelines announced by the Australian Banking Association. Now, the ABA says it will extend the credit rating amnesty by a further six months as the economic recovery from the pandemic takes longer than expected. Now, banks have allowed borrowers suffering financial hardship because of the pandemic to pause home loan repayments for up to six months with the possibility of extending the deferral period for 10 months uh, or until March 10, uh, 2021. However, the proviso is that the payments had to be up to date when the relief was approved. Under the new guidelines, the amnesty is extended and customers who have fallen into arrears with repayments can escape a credit rating penalty if they restructure their loan or apply for another hardship program. Customers who have made partial payments during the loan deferral period will benefit from an improved repayment history. And now guys, for our final story of the week, cheaper to buy than rent. So prospective home buyers with a secure job who have saved a 20% deposit are better off buying and renting in most capital cities. And that comes from research from RiskWise Property Research. Calculations by the property risk assessors show that principal and interest repayments are lower than rent in all capital cities except Sydney and Melbourne. The research also found that interest-only repayments for both owner-occupiers and investors were also lower than the annual rental cost in most areas. Now, in many areas, rent money is dead money, says RiskWise CEO Doron Peleg. When it comes to houses, the preferred dwelling option in most areas of the country, in many cases, uh, it is cheaper to buy than to rent. And that's coming from Peleg. If you buy a house, you can start building equity, particularly when you take a long-term strategic view. And if you're in a good position to negotiate well and buy a grade A property that will serve your family for many years to come. Well guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.